Hi, I'm Dr. Anil Menon, Market Development Specialist for BASF. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a great solution for controlling pests in food handling areas, phantom termiticide insecticide. As I'm sure you know, pest control in a food handling establishment, such as a restaurant, can be quite challenging. These facilities have plenty of food, moisture, favorable temperatures, and offer ideal harbage sites for pests. Many of these facilities are busy, around-the-clock operations that cannot shut down for long, extensive pest control applications. This also makes it difficult to carry out proper cleaning and sanitation procedures, which often hinders effective pest management. Also, pests can be brought into these facilities through incoming shipments. The presence of food is a natural magnet for pests, so you need a product that offers powerful, long-lasting control to maintain acceptable health and safety standards. At the same time, it's essential to protect the integrity of open food sources from pesticide contamination. Phantom is remarkably effective against a wide range of pests. These include ants, roaches, and houseflies, which are commonly found in food facilities. Phantom is also labeled for use against beetles, bark scorpions, bedbugs, box elder bugs, centipedes, European earwigs, house crickets, paper wasps, pill bugs, spiders, and silverfish. Phantom is a water-based suspension concentrate formulation which is non-repellent and has virtually no odor. It provides excellent performance on both porous and non-porous surfaces. It also works extremely well in conjunction with other pest control tools and methods as part of an integrated pest management program. When correctly applied, Phantom can prevent pest problems in a wide range of food handling establishments. These include restaurants, cafeterias, supermarkets, bakeries, dairies, processing plants, warehouses, etc. Today, we will focus on how to properly apply Phantom in a food handling establishment. These establishments have both food handling and non-food handling areas. It is important to understand the difference between these two areas. A food handling area is an area where food and food products are held, processed, prepared or served. A non-food handling area includes areas such as garbage rooms, lavatories, floor drains to sewers, locker rooms, mop closets, etc. The most common insect pests in these areas are ants, cockroaches and flies, all of which Phantom can help you manage efficiently with minimum disruption to standard activities. The ultimate success of any pest management program depends on making a thorough inspection of the area to be treated, correct identification of the pest, and determining the level and type of infestation. This information will help you determine the most effective method to resolve the pest problem. Before you begin your inspection, the first step is to meet the person in charge of the facility. Find out if they have received any pest complaints or have observed any pest activity. Use this information to plan your inspections. It is important that you carry the necessary tools to do your inspection. This includes a flashlight, a multi-purpose tool, a spatula, a mirror, knee pads, and oftentimes a ladder. While inspecting for pests, make a note of any conducive conditions that may contribute to a pest problem. These include dirty mops or brooms that are not properly stored, dirty floor drains, trash and garbage receptacles not cleaned on a regular basis, cracks around pipes or wall junctures, floor and wall tiles that are missing or broken, improperly sealed doors, improperly stored food items or equipment, any moisture sources such as leaking pipes. Start your inspections from the right hand or left hand side of the facility. Work your way around the facility in a clockwise or counterclockwise direction. This is a very efficient way of doing inspections and will ensure that you do not miss out on any problem areas. All living things need food, water and shelter to survive. A food handling or service area in a restaurant is an ideal place that offers easy access to the food resources that these pests need to survive. To guide your inspection process, keep in mind that pests such as cockroaches 
are typically attracted to warm, damp areas that are hidden from view. So begin your inspection by looking around appliances, especially those that are seldom moved. Then move on to areas where moisture is commonly present. Inspect floor drains, around kitchen and bathroom fixtures, around dishwashing equipment, inside mop and broom closets, around pipes, particularly where condensation or leaks are visible. Finally, in the bars, check the drains, taps, drip pans, mixer dispensers, and ice machines. Now it's time to move on and inspect the pest buffet. These are areas where insect pests are most likely to forage for food. These areas include food preparation and service counters, soft drink dispensers, food storage shelves and cabinets. Also inspect trash holding and disposal areas, vending machines and employee dining areas. Finally, make sure you check any insect monitors that you had placed in these hidden areas. Once you've established that pests are in fact present, the next step is to determine how they are entering the establishment. Most often, pests enter through unsealed cracks and crevices around drains and through spaces around pipes and utility lines and conduits. But sometimes, pests are literally shipped into the establishment inside food and food packaging. Keep in mind that pests like ants may be foraging inside and returning to a colony outside the establishment, but often they will nest near a convenient food source. We know there are pests present and we have some pretty good ideas on how they got in. Now it's time to put Phantom to work to manage existing pest populations and prevent reinfestation. When applying a liquid non-repellent like Phantom, there are a number of sprayer options you can use. Whichever option you choose, it's important to make sure the spray solution is mixed and agitated properly and that your sprayer is labeled accurately to reflect its contents. To truly maximize the power of non-repellents like Phantom, you should dedicate specific sprayers for their use. This way, residual traces of other products used in the same sprayer will not interfere with the effectiveness of Phantom. Whenever you're dealing with chemicals, it's important to protect your own health and safety and that of your customers. The label is your main source of information on how to use Phantom correctly, safely and legally. It will provide important safety measures that will help you protect yourself. This means wearing long sleeve shirts, long pants, socks and shoes and chemical resistant gloves. If you will be applying Phantom in a crawl space or any other confined area with poor ventilation, you should also wear a dust or a mist filtering respirator. For general pest control applications, Phantom is used at the 0.5% label rate. Mix the desired amount of finished dilution in the following manner. Fill application equipment with one half to three fourth of the required amount of clean water. Then measure the required amount of Phantom. In this case, for one gallon of finished solution, we will add three fluid ounces of Phantom to the sprayer. Next, add clean water to fill up to the one gallon mark. Close the sprayer and agitate to ensure proper suspension. Please remember to agitate the material in the sprayer if you have not used it for a while. As we discussed earlier, in food handling areas, Phantom can be applied as a spot treatment and as a crack and crevice treatment. A spot treatment must not exceed two square feet and these spots cannot be contiguous. These areas may occur on floors, walls and undersides of appliances. A spot treatment of Phantom targets an area where pests are likely to occur, but which will not contact food or utensils and will not ordinarily be contacted by workers. For more information, visit ePestSupply.com.